Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Oh, excuse you. If you don't know me, I'm Tori. Oh, this is Louie and this is Frank. In today's video, I will be showing you guys how to make some DIY bird toys for things you'll just have already at home. I know bird toys can be pretty expensive, so you can just make them yourself. All of these things are super easy, simple and quick to make and your birds will love to play with them. And if you make any of these toys, please send me a picture on my Instagram, which is at Louie in Frank. Alrighty, let's get straight into this. And this is the first toy that I will be making. Pretty cute and simple. What you will need is paper, a fishing line or wire, scissors, a paper straw or plastic straw, a safety pin and a toilet roll. So the first thing that I'm going to do is cut two long strips of paper and another two strips from a toilet roll. Then I'm just going to cut apart a paper straw into little parts. Now using my fishing line, I'm going to make a knot down at the bottom of the line and I'm going to double this up just so it doesn't come undone. This will basically be the bottom of the toy. Then I'm just going to cut off the excess so it looks a bit neater. Now this next part can be a bit dangerous and make sure you be safe when you do this. If you are a bit younger, please get an adult or a parent to do this for you. So what I'm doing is using this safety pin to pierce two holes in the toilet roll so I can eventually thread the fishing wire through the holes. Again, please be safe when you're doing this. Now I'm going to grab the fishing line and thread it through the toilet paper roll we just pierced and pull it all the way down to the end of the knot and thread through another piece of the straw. Now I am folding up this piece of paper like a zigzag if that makes sense and I'm going to pierce another hole through it. Be careful and I like to wiggle around the safety pin to make the hole a bit bigger so it is easier to put the fishing line through. And I'm just putting through the fishing line and after that I'm going to grab another piece of the straw and thread that through straight after. Alright so yet again I'm piercing through another piece of paper that I folded up and I'm going to thread that through the line. And after that, another piece of straw. And then after that, oh, another piece of toilet paper roll. And pulling it all down and tight. So it will look like that. And I'm like spreading apart the pieces of paper just so it looks a bit nicer, you know. So now I have to try attempt to tie a knot at the top of this toy. I eventually got there, but I also double knotted it just so it wouldn't come undone, if that makes sense. It can be a bit fiddly, especially with the fishing wire and how thin it is. And then I made a loop up the top. I'll explain later in the video how I did that, but this is what it should look like. Then all I had to do was just cut off the excess to neaten everything up. And that is it. So that is the first toy that I made and it's really cute, simple, only takes five minutes and let's get on to the next toy. So this is toy number two. Doesn't it remind you of a Minecraft squid? It does to me, but you're gonna need scissors, a safety pin, a toilet roll, newspaper strips, and a fishing line. So the first thing I'm going to do is pierce a hole at the top of the toilet roll and I'm gonna make it go through both sides and make sure it's even. Then I'm going to align all of the newspaper and pierce a hole towards the top of it and there should be just like however many strands you want there. I think I had about eight. Then after that you're going to thread the wire through only one side of the paper roll and put all of your newspaper like inside of it I guess and thread the wire through. Once you've done that you can thread it through the other side of the toilet roll and just pull everything through nice and neatly. Now this is me making a knot at the top of it. You don't really need to do a loop on this toy, I guess, because it's just it's just pretty easy. But I can't get over how much it looks like a freaking um Minecraft squid. I kind of love it. Maybe this is why it's my favorite toy. It just reminds me of Minecraft. But then just cut off the excess wire and you're pretty good to go. Like it's all done, super cute, super easy and has to be one of my favorites. All right, let's get on to toy number three. This toy is really easy to make and all you will need is a safety pin, a fishing line, cut up straws and cardboard rectangles. So I'm going to pierce 
a hole through every single cardboard or rectangle like so. Then I'm going to thread a piece of cardboard, then a straw. A piece of cardboard and a straw. And guess what? I'm going to keep on doing that until I have pretty much used every single piece of cardboard that, that I cut out basically. So this is what it should look like and now I'm going to make a double knot up the top and tie a loop. This can be kind of difficult with the cardboard in the way so it is a bit fiddly. This is what it should look like in the end with the loop. So I'm just going to cut off the extra bits of fishing line and just to neaten everything up I cut off both sides of the cardboard so it looks a lot better. Then this is the finished toy. This one was super easy to make and really fast. So for toy number four, you are going to need fishing line, a safety pin, cut up straws, cut up pieces of paper and a toilet roll. The first thing that I'm going to do is get the safety pin and pierce a hole through one side of the toilet roll and just drag the pin down and do the exact same thing. Don't go through on the other side though. Now I'm pushing the fishing line through the holes that I've just created and I'm going to do that down both holes so it kind of creates like a swing shape if that makes any sense. Now I'm going to get two pieces of the straw and thread it through each side of the line. After that I'm going to get the six pieces of paper and pierce a hole straight down the middle. Then I'm going to grab three pieces of paper and thread it through the line on each side. So after you have threaded through the pieces of paper on both sides, this is what the toy should look like. Now I'm just threading through the other two pieces of straw down each wire and I'm going to tie a knot up the top. So that is what the toy should look like after you've done the knot and I'm going to try to explain how I do my little loop. So what I do is I make one knot but I don't tighten it and I put my finger in the hole before I do it. And then I make another knot and then tighten that again while my finger is still in the loop, if that makes any sense. Then I take my finger out and I'm left with this little loop. If you didn't get that, just replay it. And that's pretty much how I do it. Now I'm just cutting off the excess wire so it neatens everything up. And I'm just like crinkling the paper so it adds a bit more texture so when the bird plays with it, it's more fun. Then this is what the final toy looks like. To me it looks like a cute little swing but I'm really happy how it turned out and I really like it. Now let's move on to toy number 5, Lucky Last. For this toy you will need a safety pin, a fishing line, a slice of cardboard like a rectangle, some cut up straws and cut up pieces of paper. Now grabbing the cardboard paper I'm going to get the safety pin and pierce a line of holes down the whole line of it, if that makes sense. I'm going to try space these evenly apart. This is what it should look like after you have pierced all of the holes and I'm going to tie a knot in the bottom of the fishing line and I'm actually going to double knot this so when I pull on it, the knot doesn't go through the hole in the cardboard. I cut off the end of the line just to neaten everything up and I'm going to push it through the bottom of the cardboard and pull it all the way through. The next thing I did is I pierced a hole towards the end of the pieces of paper like so. Now this next part is a bit confusing so I hope I make sense. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to pull a piece of straw through the wire. Next I'm going to add a piece of paper and then after that another piece of the straw. Now I'm going to grab the end of that wire once I've added them and I'm going to push it through the next hole in the cardboard like that and I'm going to pull it through pretty tight like so it makes a little triangle with the paper and the straws. So here it is again I'm going to thread through a piece of the straw, a piece of paper and then another piece of the straw. Then I'm going to pull it all the way down push the wire or line through the hole and pull that nice and tight to form a triangle. Now here's a time lapse of me doing that up the rest of the cardboard.
after you have reached the top of the card border what I'm doing is I'm re-threading through the line through the last hole that I made but the line would not fit so I had to re-get the safety pin and like wiggle it around to make the hole a bit bigger up the top and as you can see I just re-thread it through the line and this will make our little loop so we don't have to go through the struggle like I did with all of the other toys. Now I'm just stretching out the top fishing line just to make that little loop and I'm going to make a knot down the bottom so it doesn't come loose. And now of course I'm going to cut off the excess fishing wire and this is pretty much it. I'm just going to straighten out all the pieces of paper. You can crinkle them, you can face them any direction. But that's pretty much it all done. I really like this toy. It did take the longest to make, but it's pretty cool if you ask me. So here are all the toys hanging up. They are really cute, really easy to make, and I just had heaps of fun. Alrighty guys, well that is the end of today's video. If you like any of the toys that I made, and if you make any of them yourself, don't forget to send me a photo on my Instagram. My Instagram is at Louine Frank, and I love getting messages from you guys. Like the video if you like the video. Don't forget to subscribe to support my channel. And I will see you guys next time. Say bye bye, Louie and Frank. Bye.